Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm very excited because this is the first time that my Paphiopidellum parishii has started to bloom. I bought this plant about three years ago and it's a nice big healthy plant. If you watched my video on how to treat Paphiopidellums and hard to treat plants from uh, mealybugs. This is the plant that I was showing in the video. So I'm still keeping an eye on it, but it's in good health. It's gotten lots of nice healthy leaves, and there's a nice new growth coming out in the middle there. And I was really surprised to see that it bloomed. It sent out a flower spike this year. In fact, it sent out two flower spikes. So they're just both opening up. This bud is amazing. I just love Paphiopidellum buds and when they're just starting to open. So this one looks like it's going to have three flowers because there's another bud in that little sheath there and uh, keeps getting longer and longer. This is my first multi-floral Paphiopidellum that I've ever bloomed. I have had some Paphiopidellum callosum blooms that have, you know, one stem and then two blooms side by side. So I have seen that happen once in a while, but this is a full-on multi-flowering Paphiopidellum. So it's my first one that I've ever bloomed, so I'm very happy about that. This orchid comes from Thailand and Burma, from what I've read, and it's an orchid that does like a little bit of cooler temperatures, although I have to admit that I've been growing it under my lights and it has been very warm growing. I do let it dry out quite well in between and uh, yeah, then give it a good soak. It's just growing in sphagnum moss and in the sphagnum moss I have some... Uh, what is it called? Crushed shells, like uh, you can buy them at the pet store for um, parakeets and birds. And uh, it gives, gives the plant a little bit of calcium, which I read is very good for the plant. So you can see how the petals unfurl and they're kind of, you know, straight when they first come out. And then here you can see they're starting to twist themselves up and then at the end they get very very twisty and this is a bloom that is just freshly opened up for me but I do read I did read that these um, turn a really dark purple almost black color as they mature but right now it's a nice green with all these little spots and the little spots some of them have these little fine hairs on them I don't know if I can zoom in there but Yes, there you can see. Unfortunately, it looks like this little bud here has blasted, but that's okay. I'm happy. It's always a nice surprise when anything blooms. So this one is already looks like it's going to have three good blooms and potentially a fourth. So I grow this plant completely under lights in my grow area. I've grown it quite bright, like directly under my fluorescent tubes. Um almost as close as all my cattleyas and lelias and it seemed to like it but recently what I did was um because I was treating it for those mealybugs I just moved it um in between two sets of lights they're about four feet apart on the ceiling and then this just sits midway between so it just gets like a bright indirect light from the grow lights in it I was really happy to see that it uh sent out some blooms but um, really nice coloring um, I love how the top is really white and uh, yeah I think when I mean it's already a really big plant and uh, I was really hoping that it would put on a nice show like this when it bloomed I love how the flower spike has this beautiful curve to it and yeah, it looks like the texture of the blooms is nice and thick, so these blooms should last a long time, I can tell, because sometimes when flowers have really thin blooms, they don't last very long, maybe a week or two, three weeks if you're lucky, and if you take them out of their normal humid environment, they uh, tend to get really papery and thin, and uh, 
the blooms don't look so nice, but this one has nice thick waxy looking blooms. So I'm hoping that they stay on the plant for a few months, but I just love watching them open up and they uh, like look at these, the nice coloring and it doesn't, it looks plastic, but it is real, I guarantee you. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, I grow it under my lights. I let it dry out quite well. It gets quite warm in the grow area in the summer, about 30 degrees at the max. And then in the winter, it does drop down to quite cold. But from what I've read, this, this orchid can go down to six or seven degrees at night. And obviously when it's uh, cooler temperatures like that, you want to keep the orchid a little bit drier so it's not sitting in this cold, wet, composty mix. Yeah, so thanks very much. Hope you like this quick video. That is Paphiopadellum parisii. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.